Yeah, that's fair, Lumashi. Um, but there's a there's a decently long thread in the uh, in the speedrun.com forums about it. And at first, I I was against death warping as well, but I'm I'm pretty convinced that death warping is is less. Um, Wow, that was good. Hopefully I kill him on this cycle. Okay. I feel like death warping's okay. Um, it does less to the, the speed run than save and quit does. And it comes with enough, you know, major downsides. You have to figure out how to route the death warp. Uh, you have to cope with the loss of any potions that you've collected, except on easy where you start with one at all times, but still. Um, and you lose all of your spells. So, from that angle, uh, the Death Warp and, and Save and Quit have uh, enough differences that it makes sense to consider them different things. That was a good escape. This game is available on PS4. This game right now is out for Switch and PS4. Um, I'm playing on the Switch. And um, it's coming out for Steam June 8th, I think. They announced an actual date, and I don't remember it offhand, but I think it's June 8th. Yeah, the graphics and the music work that went into this remake are just... They're astounding. They're so good. Alright. Oh, hey. Lucky. Alright, so we start with two potions, since this is easy. worried about losing my heart or my extra potion already would have been a bummer come on sunflowers have a really high drop rate of hearts there we go Nice. 
nice, but we've already got four. No arrows. That's a bummer. Berlin, dude, I would love to hang out um, in your stream while you're while you're grinding uh, Wonder Boy three. That's not good. So one interesting aspect here is any creature that uh, the RNG decides should drop a heart will drop a spell instead if uh, you have full health. Take a potion. This is a weird run. So we skip to the, uh, the retro graphics. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Darn. Okay, well, that's one cycle lost. We skip to the retro graphics to uh, to skip a cutscene. Playing casually, the cutscene's really cool. Playing uh, in a speed run, the cutscene takes up time. And it's less cool. I'm not sure what decides where the mummy dragon on uh, even numbered cycles stops to do that intermediate attack. But. The, uh, the non intermediate cycles are always. That's good. I just lost all the time that I could have had. Been nice, but <laughs> I 
Can I test out the one room against the other room? Oh yeah, yeah, the... The pyramid room is way slower. Um, in that, it doesn't give us anywhere near enough money. So we still have to get the, the top route room in any percent. That was dumb. I guess. Alright. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so halfway through the next room we have a guaranteed heart drop, so my health isn't really concerning. Also, I have two extra potions compared to where I'm supposed to be at this point in the run. Which is, uh... It's A-OK -okay with me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like at the point where you're swinging around swords, it's okay to to look a little bit, you know, focused. I'm curious if this is the same way that you do this room in uh, in the original Wonder Boy Three. I'm gonna have to look at that speed run and see if uh, if the strat's the same. I know a lot of the AIs changed, so it might be completely different. There we go. That was actually a pretty decent room. Nice. That was much faster than my PB, for sure. There's a giant mouse behind my bookcases? That's, that's kind of spooky. Its ears are sticking out. Yeah, sorry. This is the one point in the run where my camera's in a bad position. Okay. That seems good. No. 
that's that's not how that was supposed to go. Yo, Arctic Rivers, how's it going? Jumping in lava isn't usually a good idea. I need that. So money-wise, we still have to go in here because I need this chest, but... No, no, no. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, lime grass, it's a it's a problem. There there are definitely points where I have to think really hard about whether or not I should save and quit.
go. There we go. That was a missed jump. So, just in case anybody's curious. I hate these anemones. Just let me through. Just let me go. Just let me go through. I'm trying to go fast and you... You are not helping me go fast, any of you. Huh. That's bad. All right, there can be a gear drop right here. Nope. Always worth going for it. Please drop a heart. Please drop a... Mm. Thank you. No biggie. Let's just go. dumb. It's fine. Let's go. Yeah, I can see it being annoying that you can get hit during that period of invulnerability. I think that it's interesting, though. So one thing that makes this section really, really interesting from a speedrun perspective is that uh, we're still wearing the dragon mail that we got earlier, which is in this area, 
functionally equivalent to tissue paper. Just a bit more. Okay, we're good. Please drop a heart. Uh, okay. This is fine. So, Green Samurai, uh, inside the Daimyo's Temple, which is what I'm about to be in, uh, can drop the armor that I'm about to have to buy otherwise. And it would be really nifty keen if one of them would drop it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's a heart. All right, well, still on pace. We have just barely enough. All right, one potion. This is going to be rough.
Wrong button. Please? Thank you. Yo, Saxon, how's it going? That's rude. I am very upset about that. Okay. Vampire dragon fight's gonna be really, really nerve wracking now. I don't know if that's a mechanic from the original game or not that, that they should consider fixing or what, but... There we go. Oh, that was such a good pattern. Three forty-seven. That's a that's a pretty okay new world record, I think. Yo, Umbai, thank you. I'm glad that you think that that run had beans. I I do my best to give everybody runs that got beans. I think I think this new time has got beans for sure. Lots of mistakes to fix still, but pretty okay time. I got really lucky with that, um, with the way that the, the uh, vampire dragon moved at the end. If it would have moved to the right, I would have lost out on all of that time save. Because all it has to do is move to the right and it moves at the same speed that I move, so. Yo, thanks for the GG. What time is it? I think this one might be the last run tonight. We went and we we brought we brought the any percent hard world record back to the United States. We've uh, we've improved no major glitches easy. I think that I'm starting to finally have a decent idea of where we want to go with um, the money routing. Yo, Glitch Garden, you did just come back to another world record. So this run, um, 
I shouldn't have collected gold from... What's his name? Uh, from Captain Dragon. I should have waited for the Daimyo Dragon. Wait, no. No, that doesn't work. It has to be Captain Dragon. Because the entire point of the gold was to be able to afford the... Uh, the Tass Sword. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Money Rod is still super hard in uh in no major glitches it it got trivialized in any percent since we get to just fish fly become bird and go to the old castle yeah thanks for the congratulations everyone Kale, if you're still here, I did say that I was going to uh, to attempt to give you a new world record as a, a welcome to the stream. So, if you're still hanging out, I, I I followed through with my part. That's all I've got to say. Well, Glitch Garden, I'm not good at video games. Um, if I was good at video games, I would have world recorded by more than 40 seconds. It's not like my world records are that good, as evidenced by the fact that I keep on having to take them back when people take the, the, the world record away. No, Limegrass. There's a couple of uh, Wonder Boy 3 speedrunners. Well, at least one. I know Cinehel is in these credits as uh, somebody who helped out with the game a lot. Um, I assume that she's not the only one, but... But yeah, she's in the credits as somebody who uh, helped out. So, the Lizard Cube did really well. I mean, they 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 worked with speedrunners. They've you know had a, a conversation with me on on Twitter where they talked about not wanting there to be a disparity between the different versions. You know, PC versus PS4 versus Switch. Like with uh, Shantae and the Pirates Curse right now, there's like you're gonna run on PC or you're gonna run on PS4, and that's it. Like, the Wii U version is just slow, period. And that kind of stinks. So it's really awesome that they are that they care enough about the speedrunning community that they want to make sure that, that that doesn't end up being the case. <laughs> They're just borrowing the world record until giving it back to me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to, to make a claim like that. Uh, Leo Mashi, I actually have two. Or, well, more than two, but... Two on my desk. I've got uh, one right here that you can hear me typing on. And I've got this Ergodox, half of which I'm holding up right now. Um, but yes, I I love I love the Ergodox. It's a fantastic keyboard. Also the uh, the wood case for it is surprisingly nice. I didn't think that I'd like it, and then I fell in love with it enough to get another one. This was fun. This was this was a good run. 